hmm, it's quarter past eleven. She was supposed to be home 15 minutes ago. Maybe I should call her. Ah, you're home. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. Did you have a nice time at the office party? I'm glad you had fun. Nothing better than getting to relax after a long week of work. Who was there? Did everyone make it? Wait. Jeff was there. Your extremely flirty co-worker. Tall, rugby player, muscular. That Jeff. I I see. Oh. It's fine, sweetie. I I don't mind you hanging out with friends from work. As long as certain people know to keep their hands to themselves and off of my wife. (sighs) Although I suppose I can't blame him too much. Especially when you look so good in that dress. (sighs) I can't wait to rip it off you later. It's a good thing we don't work in the same office. I wouldn't be able to leave you alone. I'd be under your desk all day, working, of course, with my mouth. Give you a big kiss in front of everyone at the water cooler. (laughs) Then that dick would know that you're mine. I'm not not being a naughty boy. I, I, I think I'm being quite reasonable. If it was the other way around, would would you be okay with it? If my co-worker flirted with me and put her hands on me? If he caressed my back and a hand made its way to my crotch and gave it a good squeeze? If she got so close to me, our bodies were touching and she could feel me? big and hard against her thigh. What if? See, it's not a nice feeling, is it? That's how I feel every time I see that man sidle up to you and flirt. Of course I trust you. It's him, him I don't trust. People will do all kinds of things when they're horny, and he is so past that point. But I saw you first. This ring on my finger proves it, and the one on yours. I snagged the cutest wife in the world, and no one can take her from me. What what do you mean you're not cute? Yes, you are. With your little cheeks and pink lips, I could just kiss you. Can you imagine how cute our babies are going to be? I wonder if they'll have my eyes or yours. <laughs> You've thought about having babies too? Oh, that's sweet. It's wonderful to imagine it. The two of us and a bundle of joy. She'd make a great mum. You think I'd make a good daddy? Oh. Thank you, sweetie. That means a lot to me. I can imagine you with a big, round belly. I'd still love you even when you were big. I'm glad that makes you happy. Just thinking about you carrying a baby around makes me feel giddy. I never thought I'd like the idea of being with someone and then being pregnant and ah, be like to have a little piece of me everywhere with you. It would be further proof that I belong to you and you belong to me. Nothing could tear us apart. No hardships, no arguments, and no pricks named Jeff. That would show him. Ha! <laughs> Are you complaining about me being a brat? It's too late to complain, my love. 
You knew I was a brat when I asked you to marry me. Well, if it bothers you so much, what are you going to do about it? Punish me. Do you want to punish your husband? Fix my attitude. If you bent me over your lap, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> oh, your phone just pinged. Who could possibly be texting you at this time of night? They're interrupting sexy time. Is that... Is that him? Are you kidding me? Why does he have your number? And why is he texting you at 11 o'clock at night? What? Is that him without a top off? Oh, that's it. Take your clothes off right now. I'm going to show that home wrecker what's what. What's that? No, we won't be needing protection tonight. Not for what I have planned. I'm going to make you a mummy tonight, as many times as it takes, over and over again, until I fill you up so much that you can't take any more, and even then, I won't let you stop. Come here, my love. No need for extra play. I am ready for you right now. We're going to have the best night. Don't let me down, okay? <laughs> 